Right, next question. Why aren't the channels that are recommending CPUs based on the current availability and pricing also commenting on the price of motherboards? Intel CPUs look attractively priced right now, but the board pricing is horrible enough to offset that a lot. Now, I don't think this is necessarily true. So but, we'll And see. also, who, is this directed at us? Because we know. definitely talk about motherboard pricing in our content. Um, we always factor in the motherboard because you can't plug the CPU into yep. nothing. It needs a motherboard. I think this comes from, it's usually people saying, oh, well, you have to compare B550 to Z590, but that's not true anymore. It should be comparing B550 to B560. Yes, that's right. Um, so, and even then, the Intel boards, yeah, they're more expensive, but as an example here, I've got the MSI Pro B550M VDH. You laughing at the name of the boards. They're horrible. <laughs> so it's $110 US. So that's the AMD B550 version of MSI's sort of entry level, but not terrible motherboard. And then the equivalent, which is the B560M Pro VDH Wi-Fi is $140. So that's the Intel version. It's $30 more. However, the AMD board started at $130. So, you know, again, you're what you're saying isn't factoring in boards getting cheaper over time, so that's fair. But basically, based on that, where we're comparing two very similar motherboards, the Intel board is $30 more. However, if we get to the CPUs, right now on Newegg, as I said before, the Ryzen 5 3600, $220. And then it looks like the Core i5-11400F and 10400F are both around $180 at the moment. So that makes Intel, uh, what's that? That's like $40 cheaper on the CPUs, which makes them $10 less overall. And you might think, well, it's only $10 less. And that's right. <laughs> and you could argue that the Ryzen platform does have a better upgrade path, which is true. You know, I'm not sure you'd stick a 16 core CPU on the, the cheap B550 board. You could, um, probably not for, you know, running Blender or whatever. The point is you can get like, you know, a, a an 8-core and a 12-core CPU quite comfortably. You can get an 8-core with Intel as well, I suppose. Um, but the 11400F was 13% faster than the Ryzen 5 3600 on average in our gaming benchmarks. So it is faster. So it's cheap and faster. So it's $10 cheaper and it's faster. And when that was the case for... When, when, when it was a case where the Ryzen 5 processor, the Ryzen 5 3600 was down around $160, it was around... Uh, anywhere from $20 to $40 cheaper than the Intel part. And I think it being that much cheaper, plus the other perks of, you know, a better platform and all that sort of stuff, we we, we basically said they're about the same, but we'd probably go with AMD for that upgrade path. But the fact that Intel's cheaper and faster, it's like, yeah. yeah. I agree. Um, Absolutely. That, that's, that's that one, really. So, yeah, don't agree with your, your, your question there. I don't think... Um, yeah, Intel CPUs are horrible in terms of pricing. They're not as good. But again, the, the B560 boards may drop by $20 over the next few months, and then it's the, you know, you're splitting yep. hairs.